Hi, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software. Today I wanted to give you a tips and tricks video for Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is the new cloud version of the previously known Dynamics NAV software. And it's a, it's a great application. It has a lot of great features to it. And today I wanted to show you how to sort of maximize your value and, and get some real benefit out of the software very, very quickly. So what we're looking at right now is the, the opening screen, what we're used to is called the role center. And I'm logged into the system as a business manager. So I have access to a lot of information. So I see my finance, cash management, sales, all of the different functional categories across the top. I can get quick access to customers and vendors. But let's say some of the information is too much for me. So maybe this is a great profile because it gives me access to a lot of tools but I don't necessarily need to see all of that. So I want to adjust some of the capabilities on the screen. Functionality is not changing. All I'm doing is optimizing my view of the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to this little gear in the top right corner. And this is my either access to settings where I can change the company that I access, I can change the, the role center that is assigned to me. But what I'm gonna do today is personalize. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get into the designer, I'm gonna talk about personalizing it. So this is a user change where as a user I am now in a personalizing tool that will allow me to change the screen around. So one of the big ones is this big block here where this is kind of our launch point where I can create new sales quotes or sales orders. I can watch some product videos. I can jump into different ongoing sales or purchase information. It gives me my drill down quick access to information. But maybe I don't need to see all that or some of it's relevant. I want it in a different order. Well, it's very, very simple, right? So they've given us the tools to drag and drop and move things around. So maybe I want uh, sales invoices to be in front of sales orders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the box and I'm gonna move it until I see that red line between the two and when I release it that's when it moves sales invoices over now it doesn't have to be just within ongoing sales so I could grab it and I could move it over here to payments now it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to have it in payments but I'm not going to be criticizing you for how you want to see the screen so drag and drop it wherever it makes the most sense for you but that's a great capability within the software. Let's say the product videos are, we're great. Okay. I've seen them. I understand what they are. I don't need them to take up some space on my screen. I simply click it and I can say hide. So that will take that part of the window off of my screen. Again, does not impact any of the users other than my own. So I'm making changes that are personal to me. That's why we call it personalizing. So that's a easy way to adjust some of the screen layouts. Now, where does this really come into play? It's when you can maximize the value of the screen. So I'm jumping into our generic chart of accounts here and I can see that there's a scroll bar. Well, that's nice, but I don't wanna to have to scroll to see all the information. The information I actually care about is this net change and balance columns. But I can't see those because I have to scroll uh, on the screen in order to actually see those. So let's personalize that. Let's make sure we, we maximize our value again. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say, well, what if we take this balance sheet and, or sorry, the, the name column, and we actually shrink that over a little bit. Well, that gave us some room. Maybe I can shrink over the totaling column. That's a little bit better. Now, I've got these two columns on the right over here that I don't actually use. I don't do anything with them. So I'm gonna come and hide those. So we're gonna take both of those off of the screen. And when we do that, this should give us enough room that everything stays within one screen and my scroll bar is gone. Now all I have to do is roll my mouse wheel up and down to see that information. And just like that, I've personalized this particular screen. And I can do that all throughout the system so that no matter where I am, what device I'm using, when I access the system, it's gonna know my personal settings and, and understand how I like to see the screen. So use the tool, use the capability within the system to personalize it for your individual use. You can do this on your customers, your vendors, your items, your sales documents, your purchase documents. Utilize the software to make it as efficient for your use of the software as possible. Get rid of the fields you don't use. It doesn't make sense to have it sitting on the screen 
not use. That's called underutilizing the tools available. So maximize your value, get in there, personalize it, it doesn't hurt anything. Let's say I've made a tremendous mistake here and I've accidentally wrecked my screen. I've moved the columns around. I'm completely confused on what I've done. I can come in, say personalize again, and I'm gonna click this more option, which actually expands the personalizing across the bar where now I can see this is how I add a field. Okay, but I'm not gonna do that part of it today. I just wanted to show how I can clear my personalizations. So when I clear it, it's gonna ask me, are you really sure you wanna do this? You can't undo it. I'm gonna say yes. And then what it does is it reverts it back to the standard view. So you can see the name column has stretched back out totaling. The columns on the right are back. So it has taken me back to the pre-personalized setting. So I can't mess it up. That's the great part about it. Get in there, play with it. If you make some mistakes, don't worry about it, don't fret. Just simply hit that clear personalization and then go back into it and try it again. So I would say that's my biggest tip and trick with the new D365 Business Central. Again, this is Dynamics Nav in the cloud. It is a tremendous amount of software and power at your fingertips. Get in there and maximize your value. This is Ben Baxter for Accent Software. Hope you appreciate this content. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, pass it around to your business colleagues. Make sure this information's out there. Really appreciate it.